Turn the crank of the relevant cylinder to the bottom dead center and clean the cylinder liner before the piston is installed. Provide the guide ring on the top side of the cylinder liner to guide the piston rings into the liner. Divide the gaps of the piston rings above the gudgeon pin at an angle of 180 degrees in relation to each other. Apply a proper layer of clean engine oil to the piston rings so that the piston can be mounted smoothly in the liner. Fit the clamp around the piston crown. The piston rings are already forced into their grooves when the clamp is closed. On one side, the connecting rod is marked camshaft side. This marking corresponds with the marked position on the big end bearing block. Carefully lower the piston into the liner with the marking camshaft side pointing towards the camshaft side. Now apply a layer of clean lube oil to the piston skirt. Fit the intermediate plate to the connecting big end bearing caps. Make sure that the plate is clean and undamaged when it is fitted. Next, continue lowering the piston. Check that the piston rings slide smoothly into the liner. When the connecting rod has been lowered far enough, remove the plastic protection plate from the connecting rod foot. Check that the connecting rod foot is clean and guide it carefully over the studs. Disconnect the crane and remove the lifting tool, clamp and guide ring. Now provide the jacks on either side of the connecting rod foot. After the jacks have been connected to the pump, re-tighten the nuts of the jacks with the hook spanner to bring the jacks in bottom-most position. Connect the second set of jacks using an oil distributing block and subsequently fully pressurize the jacks simultaneously. When this pressure has been reached, the nuts can be tightened with a special pin. Check the displacement by counting the number of holes, which must be the same for all nuts. Then, slowly drop the pressure by opening the return valve. When the jacks are completely pressureless, tighten the jack nuts as far as possible and fully pressurize the jacks for the second time. Next, tighten the connecting rod nuts further, if possible. Depressurize and immediately afterwards pressurize the jacks for the third time for verification. This time the nuts should not turn any further. Now remove the hydraulic tools. Remove the carbon deposits on the inside and outside of the anti-polishing ring and place the ring in the liner using the tripod.